you're registering for VAT, for VAT, do not forget to include things you bought before you registered in your first VAT return. You can claim VAT back on some of those things. It could save you hundreds or even thousands of pounds. Hi, I'm Benedict. I'm a chartered accountant. Okay, a little background information. A lot of people start a business and then later register for VAT. But a lot of people also spend most of their money when they first start the business, before they're registered for VAT. You might buy a laptop or pay thousands to fit out a shop, or you might be subscribing to loads of services that have VAT on them. You can claim the VAT back for a lot of that stuff. It's called pre-registration VAT. What can you claim? So here are the rules. It has to be something that you bought originally for the business. So your personal laptop that you then start using for the business, no. But if you bought the laptop for the business, yes you need to have a VAT receipt for it, showing the amount of VAT listed separately, the VAT number of the company that sold you the thing. And that can be paper or electronic, either is fine. Make sure you've got it safe so you can show the tax man if you ask to see it. For most things, it must be within six months before your formal VAT registration date, usually called the effective date of registration, the date from which you are VAT registered. But any assets or goods that could be stock in your shop or it could be a laptop that can last for years, Anything you're still using at the date of registration, you can claim if you bought it within the four years before registration. So for example, a two-year-old laptop with 400 pounds of VAT on it, and you go through your emails and you find the formal invoice receipt with the VAT number on and the VAT registration number of the company that sold it to you. Great, you can claim that back. It's only two years old. You're registering for VAT now. You're still using it for the business. You bought it originally for the business. Fantastic. How about a two-year-old accountant's invoice? No, that's a service. You've used it all up by now, so you can't claim that. It's not goods or assets. But a two-month-old accountant's invoice from before that registration? Yes, you can claim that. There's VAT on it, claim it. How about that coffee that you bought from Pret five months ago? Well, yeah, if you kept a receipt for it, if it was for business and you kept a receipt and the receipt's got VAT on it, then yes, you can claim back the, what, 40 pence worth of VAT on that coffee. So you can collect lots of small receipts as well as the few big ones that will have most of the money on. How do we claim this back? Well, when you do your first VAT return for your first VAT quarter, which won't be exactly a quarter because it never is when you first register for VAT, you do all your income from your VAT registration date to the end of that first quarter. Same for expenses, all your expenses from your VAT registration date to the end of that first quarter. But then you add all the expenses we just mentioned, those anything from the previous six months and assets and goods you're still using from the previous four years. So you don't need to add all expenses from the previous six months, just the ones you'll be claiming. So anything that didn't have VAT on or is too small and you can't be bothered to check, don't put those in. Just put in the ones for which you are claiming back the VAT. There aren't any separate boxes or forms for pre-registration VAT. You're just gonna add the numbers in when you do your first VAT return to the normal VAT form. So taking the old laptop with 400 pounds of VAT on it, the 400 pounds of VAT from that laptop is going in box four, in addition to everything from the, your first quarter. That's increasing the VAT you're reclaiming from HMRC or decreasing what you're paying them if you're gonna pay them some money. And the full price of the laptop, excluding VAT, goes in box seven, increasing that total. That doesn't affect what you pay to HMRC or what you take back, that's just a check for them, but increase that number as well. So everything from the first real VAT quarter plus the exclusive of VAT price of the laptop that you'll be claiming as pre-registration VAT. If you use online accounting software to do your VAT returns, which is becoming more and more the way everyone's forced to do it, then each different piece of software will have a different way of adding in pre-registration VAT. There'll be some instructions online, a help page somewhere about how you tweak these numbers because your software will not add these things up automatically because your software will not know what you are and aren't allowed to claim. It can't do that math for you automatically. So you're going to get a VAT return that says, hopefully from your software, the correct numbers for your first quarter. And then you need to be able to increase those numbers by the amounts of the pre-registration VAT, both the VAT that goes in box four and the exclusive of VAT price that goes in box seven. Find the instructions for your particular software online for how to change those two numbers. If, you, that, if those instructions are not clearly online somewhere, hassle your supplier of software until they put that in line. It's really important for a lot of people. It saves a lot of people a lot of money. There should be instructions online somewhere for it. Finally, a little clarification about the six month rule. It's six months before the effective registration date, before the formal date of registration of VAT, which means it might be a lot more than six months between spending something and claiming back the VAT on it. 
Say you spent some money on the 1st of January and in May you register for VAT with an effective date of registration slightly in the future, mid-June. You say from mid-June I'm going to start adding VAT to all my invoices. Well, 1st of January is within six months of mid-June, so you get to claim that thing that you spent on the 1st of January. But during registration you picked VAT quarters that end at the end of September and every three months, so your first VAT quarter runs from mid-June slightly more than three months to the end of September, 30th of September. That means you're doing your VAT return in October, you're going to be paying your first VAT bill or getting a refund from HMRC in November. So the VAT from the 1st of January is coming to you or reducing your VAT bill in November sometime, nearly 11 months later. So that's the six month rule plus a VAT quarter plus time to process it plus time for the refund. You can see how it can end up being a lot more than six months. I just wanted to make that clear because it's not obvious that the six month rule might end up being quite a lot more than six months by the time everything is processed. Well, I hope a few dozen of you save a few hundred pounds from watching that. That would be a good morning's work for me. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments underneath and I will try to answer them if this helped you, particularly if it helped you save hundreds of pounds, then click the like button so the next person who needs to find out about pre-registration, VAT, finds this video. And if you want to thank me, then click subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you next time. I try to do a new video every week. Now we're outside of the self-assessment deadline rush. Let me know in the comments what you want the videos to be about. And thank you for watching.